Hello Leos. I am back you guys with another reading and um, in this reading we're gonna see if the person that you are thinking about is going to come back, if, if union with them is likely in the month of June, um, if that's not something that you guys are interested in. Now is the time to get ghost. Alright guys, so again this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see, what's currently going on with my Leos? Eight of Pentacles, working. Um, working on yourselves even. I feel like there's something that you guys are trying to accomplish here in the month of June. And um, you're, you're building something. You're, you're trying to build a legacy for yourself and for your children if you have children. Okay, that is Virgo's energy there. What is going on with the other person? What's going on with the other person? Please show me. We have a seven of pentacles. Mm. Now, <clears throat> somebody may be pregnant and expecting at this at this moment in time. Um, this is Taurus energy. Um, they seem to be kind of happy. I feel like this person is expecting you to come back or waiting on you to come back, something like that. Um, I don't see you paying that much attention to them currently though. And it may be because you are working on building a foundation for yourself, a strong foundation for yourself, and you may be working for them as well. I'm not sure, but somebody is definitely pregnant. Um, in this in this situation, but more so than that, somebody's waiting on you. They're expecting you. Okay, this person is definitely willing to invest more time and energy into a connection with you. Okay. Hmm. And the more I look at this, you know, this person, if if this person is not waiting on you and is not necessarily hmm. you know this is kind of sticky this is kind of sticky now this person may be pregnant for somebody else currently they may have started a completely different life but we're gonna see how this story plays out let's see what does Leo want what does Leo want what is it that Leo wants? Three of Wands. Hmm. You're looking for a special person. Um, three of Wands is Aries energy. You're waiting on something better. I feel like there's there's something about this person's situation that I feel like you're familiar with. And you feel like you can do better. You feel like there's something better out there for you here. What does the other person want? What does this other person want? Ace of Pentacles. I definitely feel like somebody's expecting a baby. Um, and a proposal. This person is seeking like a proposal of some sort whether it's like getting back together proposal of marriage I feel strongly for some of them is a proposal of marriage here <clears throat> what does Leo need what does Leo need okay I've got two cars here let's see what this one is what you need we have the nine of swords here stop worrying because your worry is I'm not going to say it's unwarranted, but things are not as they seem. This person in your eyes may seem really, really happy, um, have gone on with their life, and they're doing big things and, you know, not, not even thinking about you. I don't think that's what this is. This is Gemini energy here. Um, this is a clear your mind. Clear your mind, clear your energy here. 
and then the eight of wands if you haven't spoken to this person in a while and you feel like you want to um, if day in and day out you're fighting it then if if it takes communicating with them to clear your mind then this is saying communicate with them okay if this is your situation where these roles are reversed um, and you're the one that's actually over here that's expecting a proposal and um, you know appearing to your person as having gone on with their life they're struggling uh, to communicate with you it weighs on them okay so you guys are the only sign that I have like flipped it with but it could be vice versa for sure okay because I'm just reading energy here <clears throat> Sagittarius energy there with the eight of wands as a matter of fact Sagittarius and Gemini totally different energy okay totally different energy here so it's like back and forth I want to talk to them no they may have gone on with their life next day I'm gonna call them and then you talk yourself out of that. This is that type of situation going on here. What does the other person need? What does the other person need? Ten of Swords. And you guys are kind of like... You're definitely telling me a story here. I feel like this person is... Um, they feel betrayed. Uh, I think that what you are seeing is not necessarily how things are here because for some reason they look happy to you or or they seem happy to you for whatever reason I don't know if they're presenting it to you like that but um, they feel betrayed I don't know if you guys actually left this person because that is kind of what it looks like to go and do something else. If you moved away from this person or whatever, but this person feels betrayed, and I feel like they um, they need to look inside themselves for the truth. Because I I see them waiting here. I see them waiting, but I don't see you like even paying attention to them or even trying to turn around and go to them I see you guys with your backs to each other there so there's something that they need to let go of to give up on because they're replaying something over and over and over and over in their mind here and maybe it's a fact that you guys will come back And offer them something because I don't see you going back and offering anything I see you know you guys wanting to communicate but um, not necessarily like try to reconcile I don't see a like a reconciliation uh, deal going on here is there someone else involved for Leo's is there someone else involved for Leo's the fool. Now, this again is Aries energy. I don't necessarily see anybody else involved here, but I feel like if if someone came along and you felt like you wanted to see somebody, I think you definitely would. I think you would step out and um, and start over again. I think you are definitely open to being with someone else. <clears throat> is there someone else involved for the other person? Is there someone else involved for the other person? This is going to be telling. Is there someone else involved for the other person? Please show me. Is there someone else involved? The world. I don't think this person is involved with anyone. This is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius energy here. This is Saturn, 
um, energy, karma. So I think that there's what you're seeing or what you are perceiving, perceiving uh, this person's situation it is, it's not the way that it really is. Uh, karma is is at play here for both of you because this person is almost kind of delusional about what's really going on here between the two of you and they're not as happy as you feel like they may be this person is still waiting on you guys they're still looking for you to come back. They're still looking for you to reach out. They still daydream about what could be. So I don't feel like they're seeing anyone else either. Now, this is the thing. If you notice here, we have the fool here and we have the world here. So we have the end of the tarot and the beginning of the tarot. This person wants to start over. This person wants to complete what you guys start at. I don't see you necessarily wanting to complete what you started with them. I see you missing them. I see you possibly um, being used to this person, wanting to reach out, keeping yourself from reaching out because you feel like there's better out there for you. I feel like this cycle has been wrapped up between the two of you, honestly. Okay, there is a potential for a new start, but I think you're at a totally different place. There's something else that um, that you feel like you need to do aside from this person over here is union likely between leo and their person two cards here and we have the devil and we have the princess of swords no not likely for the month of june for sure okay the only thing that might happen is there may be a sexual um interaction I feel between the two of you and I feel like um, you know somebody is missing that that sexual interaction between the two of you but the princess of swords does not really talk they don't really speak they just observe okay I feel that um, in the month of June, you two are probably going to be in the same spot that you've been in. It's not going to really be any movement. But I feel that um, somebody's definitely miss missing the sexual component of the relationship. There is some codependency. There is this feeling of um, just this feeling drawn and feeling tied to someone definitely feeling connected but um, I don't feel like I don't feel like union is likely this month more looking at the social media observing and then coming to your own conclusions the both of you I feel okay so um, Capricorn energy here and um, any air energy with this Princess of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon.